My name is Victoria Lin. I'm the curator of Restless, the Adelaide International 2012, which is an Adelaide Festival exhibition. The exhibition includes the work of 18 artists and it's located across four public galleries in Adelaide. The Anne and Gordon Samstag Museum of Art at the University of South Australia, the Australian Experimental Art Foundation, the Contemporary Art Centre of South Australia and Flinders University City Gallery which is located in the State Library. The term restless can invoke many different ideas. It can be a psychological state, an internal state, it can also be a political or a social condition and restless can also be an aesthetic form. Kia ora koutou, katoa. I'm Lisa Rehana. I come from Auckland in New Zealand. The title of the work is Pelt and it's, com it's a series of photographs. I tend to work in series. Um, and there's four images in this particular series. And in each image, there's a central figure, a kind of female entity, uh, a being. And she completely inhabits her, her space, this kind of um, landscape. Within our own Maori mythology, there's a, a word that, that a lot of other people have heard too, which is the underworld. Uh, but in terms of um, a, a Maori philosophical thinking about that, it's an other world. It's something that's, that sits alongside where you are. It's not necessarily under your feet or like a heaven and hell thing, but it's, it's something that's constri that sits at the same time, but in another space and time. Many of the artists are dealing with uncomfortable issues. They could be the sort of unhinged, destructive forces that are at play today in Athens, in the work of Socrates Socratou, for instance, or the great Nancy Spiro, uh, her piece, which is a centerpiece at the Sandstag Museum, the Maypole, has all these heads suspended in space, and they're the heads of the victims of war. Located next to the Maypole, is a new wall mural installation by Harsha. The, the, the title is Extraction and this somehow broadly, I mean it's not just a kind of an illustrative piece to what I say, but it's more somehow visits the idea of extraction in terms of extracting values, extracting meaning, extracting uh, you know sense of world, extracting sense of materials, this inquisitive mind of human is always busy extracting something or the other. So I love that whole idea of human extremely busy, you know, looking for answers, looking for meanings, looking for something, you know, it's like, it's like an eternal process. So how to make it like a grand narration is what you see here, with these people somehow uh, falling into the gallery space from somewhere, and they're all into this uh, central motif. I mean, if you see this mural from far, they look very floral, yeah? They have this petal kind of a form. Francis Elise lives in Mexico. He's an artist from Belgium. And his video, Gringo, talks about the ways in which we impinge ourselves into other people's territories. In this case, he's interacting with a group of dogs in a space and they really don't want him there as their visitor. The camera becomes a kind of savage intruder, if you like. And the work of the nice Tratu is looking at the borders between divided lands and the impact of a globalising wall on people. The, the work is called The Globalising Wall. It's um, a video installation. I travelled in seven divisions around the world. My idea was to, to stand on each division and photograph the one on the other side. So you have the wall, or this is shown through uh, the army, the police patrols, the walls, but also you have images of children and people living around these borders. For me it was quite shocking because, you know, at the beginning you go to one of these places and if you come from a free place where you're not used to seeing guns and the army, you face dangerous situation, you face, you know, these guns and army trucks and all that. But uh, what is shocking is that you get used to it. And I think this is what has happened. The work of Henri Salah is set in a Buckminster Fuller dome in Berlin. And it's about the breakdown of a relationship between a man and a woman. She is constantly asking him to answer her. She says, answer me, answer me. And he just plays um, a set of drums again and again and it shows restlessness 
from the point of view of the breakdown of personal relationships and it also shows restlessness from the point of view of the breakdown of the utopian dreams of utopian architectural experiments. Within the show there's political references and there's figurative references in this kind of downstairs area. My work sits alongside uh, Nancy Sparrow's uh, Maypong and there's Harsha's beautiful work with figures floating on the walls. So there's this sort of sense of there's a sense of floating and there's a sense of humanity. I love looking at the video work, Saskia Older Walbers. Um, there's a really interesting kind of connection between her work and um, the kind of bird-like figures that are in the pelt work. So I think uh, the human brain will immediately draw things together and make connections. And you know, I, I um, urge people to come and see the work for themselves because it's never the same seeing a print, um, but when you see the actual objects, um, then you have a relationship as a viewer, which um, then can set your mind sort of drifting and dreaming.